The iPhone takes fantastic pictures, but sometimes they kind of look like that. And I'd like to talk about how to fix that in today's Idea of the Day. One of the most important features to anybody that's serious about photography is something called white balance. Now, the reason I'm bringing that up is one of the best cameras on the market today, and definitely the single most popular camera in the world, is the iPhone. The iPhone takes fantastic pictures. I mean, it rivals that of cameras that were considered the best in the world 10 years ago. So now you can take pictures that are almost as good as an expensive camera with an iPhone, but they've got one thing wrong. They keep improving the resolution. They keep improving um, the lenses, but they haven't improved the white balance. And white balance is extremely important. That's where if you hold up a piece of white paper, it looks white. Or if you look at the skin tones of the typical person, they look natural. Whatever their skin color is, it should come across. If you have a red flower, it should look red. A blue flower should look blue. The point is that colors have to be accurate. And there's there's no feature in an iPhone that lets you calibrate the camera. Now what's calibration mean? And it, it, amounts, it may sound complicated, but all calibration means is that just prior to shooting a bunch of pictures, you basically take a picture of something in the room that's white or gray, and then you tell the camera that's what color temperature you are at right now. And by color temperature, I'm talking about the color of the light source. Like if you are out in broad daylight around noon, it's gonna be one temperature. If you go out sundown or sunset, it's gonna look different. If you come indoors and using an incandescent bulb, it's gonna be a little orange. Like here's some pictures here. I may put, I'll put something here. Here's some pictures where it's, you, know, you, you look at it and they kind of look orange. They look funny. Sometimes they look blue because you might have shot them with a fluorescent bulb and it doesn't realize it's a fluorescent bulb and now everything kind of looks gray and blue. So what you do with a good camera is you calibrate it. You take a picture of something that's white or gray. And in my case, I have a little thing in a pouch I carry around. It cost me five bucks on Amazon. And I can take a picture of this just prior to shooting something, either the white or the gray side. And then essentially I hit a button on my camera that says that's gray or that's white. And now from that point on, as long as I'm in the same room or in the same place, all the pictures are gonna be absolutely beautiful. So what the iPhone lacks is the ability to do that, to turn off automatic white balance and to actually put a real white balance into the picture that's calibrated by using either a piece of paper or even if you're taking a picture of a bride, you could take a picture of that person's dress and say, that's white. And from that point on, as long as it knows what that white is and that that's actually a white color and not yellow or blue or something like that, they'll look great. So I'm on my big wish list for the next iPhone. Let's hope that they add, or at least to the new software, an auto, and, a, and a feature to turn off automatic white balance and to let you calibrate the white yourself by using paper or targets or whatever it is. But they need a feature that lets you get rid of those ugly colors and turn on your own custom white balance. And that's today's idea of the day. All right, so that's today's idea of the day. I uh, hope you liked it. If you visit ideatoday.com, you'll see a new one every day. Every day. Yeah, some of them don't suck. And, and don't forget to subscribe. And you can see them here every day, brand new one. And, and some of my videos don't suck either.